Okay, balance these reactions. All right, so now you look at these and you go, well, you know what, I might be able to do this without oxidation numbers and stuff. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And I'm sure you can. But you might be asked, who's the oxidizing and reducing agent? So then you gotta actually do oxidation numbers to be able to figure that out. AU3 positive, plus three. Element, zero. Element, zero. AG positive, plus one. What'd the AG do? Went from zero to plus one. If it goes from zero to plus one, that is becoming more positive, that means you're losing negatives. That's lose one electron. If you're losing electrons, that means you're undergoing oxidation. And oxidation means that the silver is the reducing agent. Cool. And that means then that the gold, which is going from plus three to zero, is gaining three electrons. And a gain of three electrons here, whoosh, let me do that. <laughs> that gain of three electrons there means that it's undergoing reduction. And reduction means that the, the gold ion is the oxidizing agent. Hey, now what are you going to do? This is lose three, that is lose one, gain three. So what are you going to do? You want to make the loss and gain equal, so you multiply that by three. This one that loses one. So that means if you put a three there to make the electrons cancel at three and three, you've got to put a three in front here and a three in front here. Hey, guess, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That's balanced because it's balanced atomically, 1AU, 1AU, 3AGs and 3AGs, and it's balanced electrically. Three positives on this side and zero make a total of three positives here, and zero and three positives here, a total of three positives here. Equations have to balance atomically and electrically. Yeah. Okay, now, you say, okay, that one's not so bad, uh, and maybe I could have done that without all, all of that writing. Yeah, well, then try this one. Look at that. Yeah, okay. Balance that. All right, oxidation number time. Here we go. Fe2 positive, plus 2. H positive, plus 1. Oxygen is always minus 2. Minus 2 times 3 is negative 6. Got to keep a negative 1, so the nitrogen is plus 5. Oxygen is minus 2. Minus 2 times 4 is negative 8. That means that each of these nitrogens have to be plus 4, because plus 4 times 2 is 8, plus negative 8, the total is 0. Hydrogen is plus 1, oxygen is minus 2, always in water, looks like that. Fe3 positive is plus 3. What do we got here for a change? We got the iron going from plus 2 to plus 3. If you're becoming more positive, that means you're losing electrons and becoming uh, uh, more positive. So that's lose one electron. And you know what that means? That means that that is undergoing oxidation, and oxidation is the reducing agent. So that's the Ra. And then that means this, that the nitrogen, which is going from plus 5 to plus 4, from here to here, is just gaining one electron. That's a gain of one. Gaining one negative to become more positive, uh, become <laughs> less positive. Right. And so what do we got here? We've got, um, well, that's a gain of one electron, and that's a loss of one, one electron. And so what do you do? Well, I guess what the idea would be is to just start balancing. Well, chem guy, that didn't help at all. Well, you know what it did do? It did just tell us who the oxidizing agent is and the reducing agent is. And that might be all the question ever asked you to do in the first place. Okay. Now, but if it wasn't and you got to balance it, okay, well then let's just go from there. We didn't get any help from our oxidation numbers in terms of the balancing. Fine. All right. That doesn't mean that we can't do it. So let's go. So what we've got here is 1Fe and 1Fe over there. Okay, fine. 1H here, 2H is here. I'll put a 2 in front here. 1N here, 2N's here. I'm going to put a 2 there. 2 times 3 is 6 O's. And i got 4 there. Ah, put a 2 there because 4 plus 2 would now be 6. That's going to be good. Oh, but look at the hydrogens. We just went to four hydrogens, so we're going to have to put a four here. Okay, now, should we be balanced here? Well, we're balanced atomically, so that looks like everything is going to be great. So, I'm done. No, because you see, like I said before, that last one, you got to balance atomically and electrically. Now, take a look. Two positives and four positives make a total of six positives. And two negatives? Well, that makes a total of four positives on this side. 
And there's three positives on this side. Oh no, it's not balanced electrically, which means it's not balanced. What are you going to do to fix this? Okay, now look, there's just a technique, okay? Here's the thing. If you start messing with the hydrogens, then you start messing with the waters, then you start messing with the oxygens, then you start messing with the nitrogens, it's all going to get confused. What I like to do is I like to look for the thing that, in an equation, I can change from one side to the other without affecting everybody else, and that's the ions. And they're the ones with the charge imbalance of 3 positive to 2 positive. And so what do I want? I want this side to become more positive, right? And nicely, <laughs> this has a higher charge than this one. So when we start messing with the irons and we start messing with the numbers in front, this side goes up more in charge than the other one does. So watch what happens just by going and doing this. I got 2 here, so I'll put a 2 here. I just, well, I had 1, so I might as well go up to 2s. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 is 8, plus 2 negatives is 6 positive total here. 2 times 3 is 6. So just don't get frustrated and, and gain some experience by pra practicing these and pick up a couple of techniques and it'll work out great.